Today I'm making short rib ragu to surprise my girlfriend. It's her favorite thing in the world. I'm CT and I can't cook at all. So my friends at Tasty helped me master this amazing short rib ragu recipe and I know she's gonna love it. We're gonna start by seasoning the meat. In order to get a nice crust on the ribs, I patted down the meat with a paper towel to take away any moisture. As soon as the meat hits the hot oil, it will immediately start to sear and create a Maillard reaction, which is exactly what we're going for. I tested this recipe a few times to make sure it was gonna be perfect for the video. The first time I cooked for Amber, it was a complete disaster and I am determined to redeem myself. No matter where we go out to dinner, if there's short rib on the menu, Amber's gonna order it. And I never get a bite because every bite to her is precious. I love taking Amber out for dates. I'm a hopeless romantic. We always have so much fun when we go out together. But I love the idea of learning how to make her favorite dish that I would take her out to buy anyway so that we can spend more time at home enjoying each other's company. When Amber cooks for me, I can hear her singing her heart out the entire time from the other room. She's not only putting food on the table, she's putting her soul on the table. Pro tip, saute the vegetables and tomato paste really well to deepen the flavor and give it a beautiful color. Use a nice red wine, like a port, to deglaze the pan. One of the ways to make it even more tasty is to scrape all the bits off the bottom of the pan with a spoon. It's actually called fond, and if you do, I think you'll be pretty fond of it. This tasty recipe might be the first time that I'm cooking such an elevated dish, but I can already tell it's opening doors of culinary creativity for me. I'm really excited to see where these newfound skills take me. Before you know it, I'll be a dad with a grill, searing steaks. Stereotypes, guys. This dish tastes rich. The flavors are so deep. That's all due to getting a really good sear on your meat, browning your tomato paste, and then waiting until that meat falls right off the bones. This dish is so rich, it tastes like something you would have on a really special occasion. I have a feeling Amber's gonna want me to make this for every holiday from now on. As a queer kid growing up in a conservative environment, there were a lot of people that told me I wouldn't have this happy of a life and I wouldn't have a safe home and I wouldn't be able to support my partner the way that Amber and I do. And cooking this dish and putting it on the table, it smells like home in a way that I'm just so proud of who I've become and how I'm able to contribute to my happy and healthy relationship. Whew, I'm all done now, finally. She's gonna be here any minute. I've gotta go get dressed. I don't know how I'm gonna keep this surprise. I hope she likes it. Close your eyes. Open your eyes. I tricked you. What? And I cooked it myself. What? <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Oh my god, what a surprise. It's easy, all you get to do is ah. eat. <laughs> Were you surprised? Oh my god, I had no <laughs> idea. It's delicious. Thank you, you like baby. The, of course. Yeah. Mmm. Love you. Love you too. <laughs> oh yes!